All right, hope you're having a great day. And uh, today we're gonna do some kicking skills, but we're gonna do it uh, in a different way and have a little fun with this since you guys are at home and you know, maybe you don't have a soccer ball. Maybe you do, I don't know. We're gonna get into uh, you know a whole soccer unit, so we'll do some things involving all kinds of different equipment. But today, we're gonna do toilet tissue issue. What, what? Um, so you will need some TP. Uh, so grab a, a roll of toilet paper. And um, if you have a rubber band, that'll be helpful as well. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to put this rubber band around the TP so that as you're using it, it doesn't roll apart and then uh, you get TP all over your house. So you don't wanna, you don't want the toilet paper to unroll while you're using it. Um, but let's have some fun. So like I said, you're gonna need some TP. Um, just put that rubber band or a string just around it. And uh, that will kind of hold it all together. All right, first step that we're gonna do today as your tissue is on the ground, uh, we're gonna put one foot slightly over it. Don't put all of your weight on it. And you're going to jump and just tap your feet on top of the toilet tissue. Strike a pose. Now, how fast can you go? See how many times you can tap it alternating your feet in one minute. So time yourself, how fast can you go for one minute? Woo, what a workout, boys and girls. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to use the inside part of our foot. We're going to get that toilet paper to roll back and forth. So just get it to roll in your area. I want to kick it out of the camera view. If it falls over, Put it back up with your foot and kick it so that it rolls. I don't know if you can see that TP. There it goes. Boom. The next step is you're gonna to try to tap the toilet tissue from one part of one foot to the other, still using the inside part of your foot. You're gonna tap it to one foot and make it go to the other. If it falls over, just put it back up with your foot. You're using the inside part of your foot, it fell over, so I'm gonna pick it back up. The next step that we're going to do, find a target and make that your goal. For me, it'll be this brown couch. If you'd like to make a shorter goal besides the width of the couch, uh, you can get some shoes and just kind of set them up and make it a shorter goal 
Again, you're kicking with the inside part of your foot. Boom, go. So see if you guys can kick it. Boom, and still make the goal. See how far away you can get. Hey, that time I was still on the carpet. Let's go ahead and get off the carpet this time. Maybe right on the edge of the, the camera view. So I'm a little bit further away. Oh, so close. Right stopped right before it hit the couch. So got a little challenge to do as you're kicking and trying to make it a goal. Boom! Now I made it at that distance. I'm gonna go ahead and back up even further. Try to make a goal from even further away. Just keep on kicking with the inside part of your foot. Let's see if you can make the toilet tissue go from your foot to the area of the couch that you would normally sit on. Now to make a ball or any kind of object go from the ground into the air, you want to use the top part of your foot where your shoelaces would be. Not necessarily your toes, but your shoelaces. So you're going to kind of point your foot down so that you can get that foot underneath the object and make it fly up a little bit into the air. So, there, I got it from where I was right on the edge of the carpet here. So again, now I'm going to back up a little bit. Get right on the edge. Boom shakalaka. Make sure that you're doing this in an area that doesn't have any breakables. I'm doing this in my entryway, but get mom or dad's permission if you need to, where there's no, you know, an area that has no pictures or Nothing is around that can break and um, cause somebody to have to clean up something. So if you need to go in the backyard with your teepee, do it in the backyard. But definitely don't do it anywhere where there's any glass. In this last step, we're going to work on juggling. Now, when you hear the word juggle, you probably think of you know, juggling some juggle scars or juggling some tennis balls uh, or something to that extent. But this kind of juggling is done with our foot. So we're going to see how many times you can kick the teepee up before it hits the ground. So you are going to start with it in your hands. And again, because you want it to go in the air, you're going to try to use the top part of your foot. So this could be a little challenging for you. Uh, for your younger students, hold it down low. If you're in, you know, kindergarten, first, or even second grade, hold it down low and just drop it to your foot. Uh, as you get a little older, you can stand up a little bit more straight, drop it to your foot. Uh, so... Just try hitting it one time at first. So just get it used to dropping and then making contact with your foot. Now for the real challenge. Let's see how many times you can make it stay in the air. I'm not necessarily a soccer player, but I'll give it my best. Ooh, I got three hits before I hit the ground. Juggle the TP. Oh. Oh. Ooh, five.
Now let's incorporate your knees. So hold it, let it drop to your knees. So you can toss it up a little bit, let it just bounce right off your knee. If you've been using one side, try it with the other so that you can get used to using either or. Can you hit it off your knee and then catch it? Can you make it hit one knee and then go on to your other knee? What? what? Can you make it go from your knee to one foot? Now, how many times can you hit it between your knees and your feet? Whoop, I got three turns that way. Two, two. Three turns again. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. Time yourself how fast you can go from your front door to your back door. Using the inside part of your foot. Where are you going, Mr. Wilmot? If you guys can see that, yeah, you guys can see that fine. And take again, you're kicking with the inside part of your foot and see if you can kick it in between the goal. I missed that time. Now, let's see if you can make the toilet tissue go on the area of the couch that you're seated, that you are. And this is not a soccer ball, so. This is awesome!